Hey, you dare me stick my finger in there? Do it. Oh, he's got me! <laughs> Not insanity. Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. I'm rolling down the streets of Nantucket, and we're getting ready to go catch scallop. One thing I've found out about this area, it's a lot of fun, and it's beautiful. There's like big old cobblestone streets everywhere. You feel like you're back in, the daggum seatbelt alarms hollering at me. Let me put on my seatbelt, I'll get right back to you. You can't go catch scallops if you don't have smoking gear. So we're gonna get something simple like this. Uh, just small, short fins. That's gonna give you some propulsion to cruise around. Gonna need some booties. And then just a simple mask, like that mask and snorkel. This is all you need. Boy, I feel right at home right now. This hat, I don't care how cold it gets, it's gonna keep me warm. Fit. Hi, I'm Phil, how are you guys doing? What's up, Phil? The cool thing about Nantucket is this place is like steeped in culture. You're just walking down the roads, all cobblestone. You don't know if you're in the 1800s or 2020, you know? It's like, it's just a cool town. What's good, my man? Good, good, good. You guys know this guy? How are you? The master chef, Nick DiGiovanni. He's like the legendary TikTok YouTube master. But the question is, or are we gonna catch scallops? All day. All right. I, I brought like, you, you know I'm ready, right? You know I'm ready. I got like the cooktop in here. We're gonna cook on the beach. Like I got, no! I got butter in my bag. We're ready. ready. My man. Anytime you're hanging out with the young master chef, you just let him do his thing. We're gonna keep it classic. With, with something this good that comes right out of the water, we wanna keep it simple. Look at this. It's like the cameraman's in action. <laughs> the dude who never gets love is getting love. Let's go. He gets a lot of love. Gets yeah, you know, you guys see us make all these videos. I would not be able to do what I do if Austin didn't travel the world yeah, filming you know, me. Yeah. So you got to give the camera guys, you got to give our right hand men some love. Sure. It's appreciation. I give you Look at love. this. Where's my love? Hold on. Creative director. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> got to have snacks, dude. What is it with the camera guys and snacks? If Austin does not have a snack, I already got my snacks. <laughs> Ray, you got any What's snacks? Up? Yeah, man. How you doing? Nice Ray, this is there. Nick. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. Thanks for taking us. Yeah, this course, guy right man. here is yeah. the local legend. Like, yeah. born and raised in Nantucket. Yeah. Everybody knows Ray. Dude, no joke. We just drove about halfway around the island. We popped out in this little hidden bay. The wind is almost dead still. Oh my God, I can't stand it. Let's get in the water. Hey, Nicky, catch. Dude, cool hand Luke. We've got our new GoPro 10 and we're gonna hop out. This is a harbor. Basically, we're gonna be going all the way out to those channel markers and just looking around. Ray. When you find them, they'll usually be laid up on like banks. I look for like little contour lines and I kind of follow that contour line around and they'll be <clears> kind of <throat> walled up there. The wind walls them up. Hey, we ain't in Florida no more. It's not that cold. <laughs> I guess we gotta get out of here deeper. I, I don't think they're gonna be in knee deep water, but who knows? <laughs> Dude, check this out. I have no idea what it is. What is this? It is so cold. There we go. Right from the sea. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. That's a big one. Looking for <laughs> that crab wanted to take a piece 
face out of me. Hey, 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 look at that. Look how awesome this is. I'm just wading around. I don't even have fins on. I'm just walking on the bottom of the ocean and picking up fresh scallops. This is what dreams are made of. Dude, we're getting them, boys! That was so cool. Beautiful horseshoe crab. This place is alive. I've seen scallops, conch, blue crabs, horseshoe crabs, little fish. I mean, this place is just alive. A wonderful seabed full of sea grasses. It's healthy, it's vibrant, and I can't wait to take this sack of scallops in there and cook them up. See, that one's dead. He's already been eaten by something. Watch out, Doc. That's some kind of really cool little snail. That's awesome. We'll ask Ray about that. You think that's going to be enough to cook? <laughs> this is what we write in my element. That's, that's crazy. You smell that? Right it's, so, it's so fresh. It's like that ocean smell. The bag is just already, it's like, it's like if you got a fresh bushel of strawberries or a fresh bunch of strawberries, same exact thing with these scallops here. You wouldn't think that, right? It does not get any fresher than this. You will do this. You wedge this in here and you scrape along the top of the shell. That opens them up. Throw that. And then there is a hinge point. See how that's flat right, right there? You slide this along, pinch the gut, and peel the gut back off. Wow. That's awesome. It's so. crazy. Here's your light side, here's your dark side. Dark side with the hinge out. Stick it right in there. Roll the knife right up around the back, around the top. That's gonna cut the meat loose. Come right in here. You're gonna grab this hard part right there. Pull it around and just get some of this out of there. You're left with that. 
obviously there's a difference in uh, skill level here. He's ninja skill level, we're beginner level. But what you're left with is that nice, fat hunk of, hunk of love. Show us one more time. You have your work cut out for you. I'm ready. Well, the reason I say that is, they're so good raw. That I can't mess it up. I mean, you're starting with like a masterpiece. They're That's how you make the best food though, you know? That's what separates the, the good from the great. In all right, you guys, there's a first time for everything. My first time hanging out with this guy. It's also my first time catching scallops. And anytime you have a master chef hanging out with you, he's got to cook. And what, look what we've got here. It just doesn't get much better than this. We've already cut some, some, some scallops there. These are more that we have to do. And he's got this cool little cooker with a cast iron skillet. And he's going to do something rather awesome. What you got for me? You ready? This is a, actually a special dish. It's called scalloped scallops. So if you've ever had scalloped potatoes, it's like that creamy, cheesy potato type thing. It's a rift on that that my grandma taught me called scalloped scallops. One of the best things I've ever had probably in my life. It's hey, insane. thanks grandma. So we crank up our heat and to start, it is very, very simple. We are just going to take a fat knob of butter. You can't really go wrong with butter, right? And I'm not kidding when I say a fat knob of it. I mean, a lot of it, okay? But you love butter. Right? I love butter. Butter's delicious. Butter's one of the best ingredients. I'm just a home cook. I love going out, catching, cleaning, and cooking game. I like cooking for my friends and family. This is an actual master chef. And your terminology, like butter poached and this, that, and the other, like I love your terminology. Yeah. Your description of cooking is on point. I like to describe food. It's a hard thing to do. And we're gonna put them into the butter, okay? Super easy. You see that they're just like swimming around in this butter and it's just I think they're poaching themselves. They're poaching themselves. I'm they're about doing, to poach them. They're doing all the work for us is the best <laughs> part. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and kind of cut down some of the middles of these to just spread them out a little bit more because when we make this final dish, we just kind of want them to be broken apart a little bit. So kind of butterfly them a little bit is what I would kind of call. That's all we need to cook our scallops. These are already butter poached. They have that butter. The butter is what has just cooked these right. very slowly, okay? So I'm gonna set these aside for a second because we're then gonna kind of make this little nice layer in our pan here. To start, we're gonna go on with like a bottom layer of Ritz. And again, this looks kind of silly, right? It looks yeah. crazy. And then a little panko breadcrumbs. Again, I'm always all about mixing up all the textures mm -hmm. and everything. So we're just kind of, this is one of those ones that, you know, you can do with your hands, kind of keep it, keep it nice and easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and kind of layer in some of those scallops. And the breadcrumbs are gonna soak up some of that butter and all the scallop juice that's coming out of here, which is nice because we're not losing all of that to something. It's gonna literally soak it in and keep all the flavor there. Thanks. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead with just a little bit of cream over the top of these. It's a very decadent dish, right? Yeah. It uses kind of all the dairy, but you don't wanna go crazy with anything. Still, the scallops are the, supposed to be the star here, right? right. Um, then for a little bit of that acidity, again, we're getting everything kind of balanced here. We have that sweetness in the scallops, we have the creaminess in the cream, we have that kind of texture with the breadcrumbs. A little bit of lemon zest for the acid, and just pop that over the top of all this. I just love lemon with any seafood, it's just hard to really yeah. beat. Just kind of cover them. It can be rustic, it can be as, you know, as kind of crazy as you want. It just can be some larger pieces here and there, some smaller pieces. To finish it off, we'll just go with a little bit of that black salt. Just gives a nice texture, right? Kind of, or sorry, it gives a nice color and texture because they're big kind of salt bits. Yeah, and you can tell that the crackers have like soaked up all of the the juice. Oh yeah, it's not it's not seeping in fat, right? And then last but not least, I always think this is nice with something like scallops, is to give it a little bit of green on the top, just like that. And then that right there is simple. It's probably one of the most homey delicious dishes you can possibly make and as you know it uses ingredients that you probably already had in your cabinet and are all delicious in their own right there it is let's see what you got here it just looks insane right folks I'm telling you right now Did you smell that this guy is a magic man smell that smell that it's fresh it smells like a a, a lemon tart or something like that. A lemon tart is exactly what it smells like. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Yeah, I wonder what it tastes like. Take a taste. Hold up. Mm. 
crazy. That's so good. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I hate going back in for seconds, but it's just really good, right? Okay, I think Ray is running for mayor. No joke, I just want you to put that in your mouth. All right, I'll try it out. <laughs> Whoa. Are what? you kidding me? Why do you do that one? Ritz crackers, panko breadcrumbs, butter. That's like a seafood, what's it called, like papaya, you know? Man, that's good. That's a jet. Dude, Let's get hey, good. what else are we gonna do? We got scallops, now what? Scallops are done. Um, World's really your oyster, buddy. We can do whatever you want. We can tuna fish, we can bass fish. <laughs> We can bluefish, we can chase albies, we can go shoot to tog, we can go deer hunting, duck hunting. I'm moving in Nantucket. We can do all kinds of stuff. You're a master chef. I now know why. You guys, go check his channel out. This guy's like a master on TikTok and Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything. You are what young men should aspire to be. You're a very well-spoken, honest, hardworking, great dude. You're going to make a great husband and a wonderful dad one day. I promise you guys, this is what young men should grow up and strive to be like. Ray's the same way, hard working, honest, great dude. And you know what, I'm honored to call you a friend, my man. Appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like. Hey, hang out and watch another video if you want. But that's all I got for you today. There's gonna be a lot more. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.